Aliens love underpants, with a bit of a twist from your St. Thomas teachers. Aliens love underpants of every shape and size. But there are no underpants in space. So here's a big surprise. When aliens fly down to Earth, they don't come to meet you. They simply want your underpants. I'll bet you never knew. The spaceship's radar bleeps and blinks the moment that it sees a washing line of underpants all flapping in the breeze. They land in your back garden, though they haven't been invited. Hoo-hoo-hoo, <laughs> underpants, they chant and dance around delighted. They like them red, they like them green or orange like Satsumas. But best of all, they love the sight of Mrs. Emmanuel's spotty bloomers. <laughs> they like them striped or even checked, like Mrs. Stallwood's briefs. <laughs> and Mrs. Hole's big long johns are great. For hide and seek. Can't find me. They wear Miss Hellier's stripy bloomers on their feet and head and other silly places. Then fly Mrs. Blythe's pants from their spaceships and hold upside down pant races. Zoom! The teachers have come out to fetch the washing in at last. Whee! Off the alien zoom. They're used to leaving fast. On the washing line instead of pants, there hung a picture which left the teacher shocked. The aliens had stolen the pants and off to the moon they'd shot. Who are these pesky aliens? cried the teachers with a yelp. They needed to find out each alien's name, but for that they needed help. So they set the children challenges. They worked on them all week. Some of them even made plans to fly to the moon in their sleep. By the end of the week, all of the aliens' names had been discovered and the children bought back the teacher's pants using bits of change they found inside their cupboards. The St Thomas children saved the underpants and from now on, when their pants are fresh and clean, they just check in case an alien still lurks inside unseen.